welcome back to another episode of What's Up and What's Down. I'm Abby. And I'm Cassandra. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get started. The Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez drama continues, and it seems like it will never, ever come to a close. According to People Magazine, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber were spotted together several times this past weekend. People also claimed Bieber is waiting for Selena to tell him that they are officially back together. And although things might be peachy keen right now, he still has to win back her family. But what about Selena and The Weeknd? After ending their 10-month relationship, we haven't heard much from either side of the two exes. Although knowing The Weeknd, I'm sure he will drop an incredible album soon. I don't like Justin Bieber. I think he's ridiculous and immature, but I think Selena Gomez is a genuinely good person. So I hope he's better to her than he is the rest of his fan base and to the paparazzi. Although, I am a sucker for finding true love, so if you're really happy together, I gotta support it, I guess. I'll give it an up. Actor Kevin Spacey was recently accused of sexually assaulting multiple young men. Spacey is the star of Netflix series House of Cards that began back in 2013. The series is supposed to be shooting the final season soon, but filming has been suspended since the allegations made against Spacey. Netflix and the production company, Media Rights Capital, said they will not continue the final season with Spacey. Netflix released a statement saying they would not be involved in any production that includes Spacey. Fans are now interested to see how the writers and producers spin this last season with Spacey not in the picture any longer. There has been speculation that Spacey's character is going to be killed off in the final season, but nothing has been confirmed. I'm giving this an up because I'm glad Netflix isn't tolerating any form of harassment, or assault, and I'm also giving this one up because Netflix isn't getting rid of House of Cards and I kind of wanted to start watching it before this news broke. Alec Baldwin had a complete meltdown on Twitter this past weekend and has decided to take a break from the social media scene. The actor announced he was taking a break after receiving backlash for comments regarding Rose McGowan's sexual assault allegations to Harvey Weinstein. Check out the interview. Did you know exactly? And, and I didn't know anything, yeah. but, I, but I know that when you talked about Harvey Weinstein in the business, for example, for decades, you knew that he was highly intrusive in the process of making films. Mm -hmm. you know, his nickname was Harvey Scissorhands, and he was very intrusive in the path of the directors who worked for him. Number two, <clears throat> you knew that he was a very intense guy and very bullying guy and was shouting and screaming at people and exhorting them when he didn't get his way. And last but not least, you heard the rumor that he raped Rose McGowan. You heard that over and over. We've heard that for decades. And nothing was done. And nobody and nothing, said anything, though. Well, I mean, but, 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 well, but what happened was that Rose McGowan took a payment of $100,000 and settled her case with him. And it, it was for Rose McGowan to prosecute that case. Mm -hmm. From this video, there came a series of tweets from a variety of actors and actresses bashing him for his remarks. I feel absolutely no sympathy for Alec Baldwin. Time after time again, he just proves to be a total snake of a human being. I'm giving this all the downs possible. All of them, all of them, all of them. He deserves to be banished from Twitter. Banished to the farthest section of Twitter purgatory you could possibly go to. So, goodbye Alec Baldwin. I hope you have a great media vacation. I don't wish to hear from you. I hope you don't come back to SNL and you should just hibernate because nobody cares what you have to say. I know I might be a little late to the game on this one, but I'm finally caught up with Game of Thrones, and can I just say, holy freaking crap. This season was incredible, and if you don't watch Game of Thrones, then you need to start now. So many questions were answered in Season 7's finale, yet so many more need to be asked. Like, what's to come now that all of the Starks are back in Winterfell? What will happen when Cersei learns that Jaime left her to help their brother Tyrion? And what will happen now that a dragon is a White Walker? And finally, the main question breaking all of our brains, who will sit on the infamous Iron Throne? Originally, everyone suspected it would be Daenerys, but now that we all know Jon Snow is really the true heir to the Iron Throne, and him and Daenerys are now together, will they rule as one? My prediction is that Daenerys and Jon will rule together, while Sansa will officially be Lady of Winterfell, Jaime or Arya will have to kill Cersei, which in my opinion will be the most satisfying death on this show since Ramsay Bolton. Well, only time will tell. Literally, because we have to wait until January of 2019 for the se final season to premiere. I'm beyond excited for the new season to come, but this past season was so amazing that I'm kind of mad that we have to wait so long. So, up and down, I guess? So, Cassandra, I know a couple weeks ago we talked about, um, you know, iPhones and smartphones and the new generation of them. I am up for an upgrade this coming uh, November. Awesome. It's November. Already. It is November already, Yes, but you know, whatever, it's cool. It's all good. Are you going with classic iPhone still, or are you going to 
transition over to Samsung. You know, I really love my iPhone. I'm I'm pretty hooked on it. I don't think I could ever transfer. I mean, I'm team iPhone, but after this last Samsung ad that just came out, did you see it? I haven't, no. Well, let's take a look. Guess what I just got? I used to be spellbound in your arms. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> That's a big phone. <laughs> With all of your conniving, you lost your charm. <laughs> you built a flame that oh, warmed my, my heart. But you lying and cheating had a corner to fall. You gotta sell me that thing. Do you still want to go with an iPhone? I don't know. I feel so conflicted now. I mean, they they made really good points. That storage thing. I, I mean, like, I have like the iPhone seven, and I still run out of storage. I actually upgraded to like the extra, like whatever it is, and I just use all my iTunes gift cards because like I still get them for like Christmas and stuff, and I like never, I never really know what that. to do with them. And it's like ninety nine cents a month, and like. It's just, like, yeah. I have, like, $20 worth of iTunes money, and, like, it just, it's awesome. That's what I do. But that's such a good idea. Some, you know, trivia for all you viewers wow. out there. Yeah, so that's what you got to do. Or I guess you could get a Samsung phone, but. I mean, you could fall in the water and be fine with a Samsung iPhone. You got to throw it in rice. I've, I've dropped my iPhone in water before. And? It's been okay. Oh. It, it's, right. it's been a little glitchy, but. <laughs> but it, it made, we made it. it it's alive. You know, it's working. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. As Kelly right. Clarkson says. I give I give you that. Thanks. Team iPhone at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of What's Up? And What's Down. I'm Abby. And I'm Cassandra. Thanks for watching.